Hey y'all, like you weather man. Happy Thursday. Today's Thursday. This is the 23rd of March of 23. This is one of the days that we've been waiting for. <clears throat> um, so let's go ahead and check out the weather for today and see where radar is. And let's see. We'll get our lovely WPSD radar app here. You all can see we have the flood watch. And then this is from earlier. But let's check out the radar here for a minute and see what we got. There's the radar right there. You can see Cape Girardeau, um, Paducah. So we got some stuff rolling in. There's some stuff that's going to be coming in. It's supposed to be, <clears throat> oh gosh, 70s today, I think. But this is your wacky weather wake up update. All right, so let me get out of that and let's go and see what Mr. Trent Okerson has got for us. So let's see what this is today, y'all. Hey, good morning, Chief Meteorologist Trent Okerson with a busy forecast for you, so we'll jump right into it. First, a flood watch posted for southern Illinois, southeast Missouri, and river counties of western Kentucky for tonight through tomorrow as uh, torrential rain is expected and within that flood watch area possibly three to five inches of Ooh, rain yeah, through tomorrow quite a bit, evening a little bit uh, lower amounts farther to the south those blues and purples representing an inch and a half to two inches of rain over parts of tennessee and kentucky and our uh, thoughts on uh, severe weather continue to increase for uh, friday evening 5 to 11 p.m that's what they're saying so i don't know about level about three us. risk coming up into kentucky and tennessee i'll talk about that in the a next line video. of storms probably on the way wind the main concern along with a brief isolated spin-up tornado not out of the question you see that rain developing tonight in <laughs> illinois missouri and then uh, fast forwarding into tomorrow evening here's that line of storms moving across the region between six and ten to your chief yeah, I don't know why it cuts out like that, but for the next couple of days, we track the risk for flash flooding and possibly severe storms in our area. First, a flood watch has been posted for all of southeast Missouri, southern Illinois, and counties here along the Ohio and Mississippi rivers in western Kentucky. That runs from tonight through the day Friday as we're still tracking the threat for some very heavy rain in parts of the area. And by the time this is all over with by Friday night. Areas here in that flood watch from near the Ohio River northward, possibly looking at three to five inches of rain. The highest amounts will be farther north here. Mount Vernon, Carbondale, Fredericktown, Perryville, some of the areas likely to see some of those four and five inch totals. You get a little farther south, we're still expecting some significant rain over Kentucky and Tennessee, but these blues and purples representing where we'll see mainly between an inch and a half and two inches of rain farther south toward places like Princeton, Mayfield, Murray, Union City, and Martin, Tennessee. Also tracking the threat for severe weather, the big outbreak of severe weather is going to be farther south across the lower Mississippi Valley. However, as of this morning, the Storm Prediction Center has brought that level three enhanced risk farther north into our area with a little more confidence of those ingredients uh, coming together. For like at I least said, I don't know for what we're going to have weather it's... reports on our Friday evening. You see that orange here from Paducah southward. That's the uh, level three enhanced where we've got the highest confidence of those ingredients panning out. There is still a little bit of uncertainty on if we'll truly see enough instability for those showers and storms to turn severe. But right now it looks like there's going to be a lot of wind energy and that would be our primary concern with these storms, a line of storms that will bring uh, possible damaging wind gusts. A brief spin up type tornado is not out of the question. This is not going to be a supercell setup. We're not going to have long track tornadoes, but little small circulations within the line of storms, a possibility. The main timing would be Friday from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. And uh, so we'll continue to watch that. If there's any adjustments needed, of course, we'll let you know. A warm, humid day here, 70s for our Thursday afternoon will be dry for most of the day. This chance for showers and storms this evening is primarily in southern Illinois and southeast Missouri. Yeah, we'll get we something some tonight. I just don't know about tomorrow. Around 30 miles per hour, so a breezy one here uh, on our Thursday. And then tomorrow, scattered shower and thunderstorms uh, will be around through the day, but uh, not a washout. Now, tomorrow night, you see the red in the, the lifestyle index for 6 to 10 o'clock. That's for the uh, severe weather threat. 
for tomorrow evening. Here's a look at the hour by hour forecast you see by tonight. Showers and storms developing over southern and central Missouri up into southern Illinois and then uh, overnight into tomorrow morning. Those scattered showers and storms across the region tomorrow. There's a very small chance we could have one or two strong storms late tomorrow morning. But our main area of concern is going to be a line of storms that develops here in Arkansas associated with our surface low tomorrow afternoon. That moves into our area here. You see between uh, 7, 8 o'clock from the Ohio River south, we're right down the Mississippi River toward Memphis. That's the main area of concern for those severe storms tomorrow evening. By midnight, that threat is pretty much uh, over with for us as it moves on to the east. Cloudy skies early Saturday morning will give way to some sunshine by the afternoon for the uh, beginning of the weekend. So today, cloudy, humid, and breezy. 73 is your high. Some heavy rain tonight in Illinois, Missouri. Yeah. Heavy rain and thunderstorms across the region tomorrow, mainly in the evening hours. And then 65 clearing on Saturday. Sunday, sunshine and 64 during the day. Some overnight showers Sunday night. And then it looks like we'll be dry next week. Quite a few clouds around Monday and 63. 56, chillier on Tuesday. In fact, down to the 30s for lows Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. 61 and sunshine next Wednesday. Appreciate you checking in with us, <clears throat> and we hope you have a great rest of your Thursday. Calvert City Convalescent Center has always had a special place in my heart. The All right, y'all, wacky weatherman. Well, it's looking kind of promising, but we won't know anything until tomorrow. But in the meantime, we might have storms coming here tonight, so... We will definitely, definitely keep an eye on them. <clears throat> so, anyway, Wacky Weatherman here. This is March 23rd of 23. It's it's uh, Jumping James's birthday. And I'll see you all in the next video for a current weather conditions video. And we'll just see what happens here today. So, anyway, that's it. I'll see you all in the next video. So, y'all just enjoy this.